Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've made a couple of videos on how to make a rope border, kind of come up with a new way. I thought I'd share it with you, and this is a pretty cool uh, design. It's actually transparent, so that only the black would engrave. And how I did this, I'm going to start right here, and I've got a something I drew. And I'm going to select both these, and I'm going to hit T and put it at the top of the page. That didn't really work what I wanted to do because I need to select that one and then hold down the shift and then hit T because I wanted it to the top. Now, if you have X8 or above, they have object to path. So we've got an object. We're going to fit object to path. I put 70 times. Because I kind of figured that out. But see, it's nothing can be applied. It's because I need to take the shift tool and select my path. And now the apply button comes. Now, object to path reverses the object. So you have to think about that. But in a rope case, it doesn't really matter. We're going to take our circle. And I hit it a little bit bigger. That's why I draw in the center of the page. Then I'm going to control D. I'm going to bring that circle in. And hit center of the page. Maybe just a hair more. You want it just barely. Well, it's not touching, so we're good to go. And then take your Smart Fill tool and fill in that. And, of course, you would want to take away that line. Pretty good rope effect. It's not perfect, but... You can play around with your drawing a little bit more. From a distance, it does look like a rope. I'm going to make a second part on how I drew that little item and how to do it if you don't have X8 or above. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.